Greetings, my name is Konstantin Melostursky. I am an expert in forensic nutrition and the author of Gut Sense, how to reverse and prevent constipation and irregularity in children and adults. People often ask me this question. Mr. Monastirsky, why women get constipated more often than men? Well, not only constipated, women are also more often affected by colorectal disorders and cancers related to constipation. There are several reasons behind this anomaly, only some of them related to gender. Let's review the major ones. First, all things being equal, women are exposed to more stress than men over family responsibilities, hormonal modulations, and societal pressures and expectations. Unfortunately, mental stress contributes to constipation just as bad as physiological factors. Next reason are common concerns over hygiene or embarrassment over smell and noises while in the public bathrooms or simply inconvenience of using one outside of home. These factors often result in conscious withholding of stools that contribute to constipation. Next, the straining during natural pregnancies commonly causes enlargement of hemorrhoids. In turn, enlarged hemorrhoids cause pain while moving bowels and may eventually lead to incomplete emptying and ensuing chronic constipation. Next, women happen to be expert strainers because they are naturally skilled at using the abdominal and pelvic muscles to deliver babies. Unfortunately, even moderate straining contributes to chronic constipation. Finally, women are more likely than men to lead a so-called healthy lifestyle and consume a presumably healthy diet, which usually means a diet high in fiber and low in fat. All of the above conditions, factors, food choices and circumstances predispose women to constipation and colorectal disorders at a much higher rate than men in a similar environment. So if any of the above applies to you, or to your mom, or to your sister, or to your girlfriend, or to your daughter, review this page to learn how to fix, prevent, and avert them all, enjoy your womanhood, and spare yourself from much larger headaches down the road. Good luck, ladies.